Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to G-Rated Family Gaming. I want to show you how to get this imaginary companion in Roblox as a part of the 2018 Halloween event in the game, Escape Room. Now this one's a little bit tricky, so make sure you pay attention to all the details and I'll just show you how to get through this uh, Escape Room and how to get this item. So the game is Escape Room, and of course they're going to give you a little welcome message with a little bit of information. What you want to do is go into the map select area, and then take a left so that you can go into the multiplayer map level. So you're going to have to actually solve your way out of this escape room, which will be easy because I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So don't worry about it. Uh, just click on this. You uh, cr can create your own party and then just click on start party and it'll take a minute because it's going to load. Uh, and then there's just going to be like this little intro graphic that tells you about a little ring thing that you've got to uh, find. Uh, so we're going to go and find the ring. Essentially, we're going to go find a ring. We're going to find a curse and then we have to set the curse free. Uh, when you get in there, go and get this little key right away. You'll uh, see inside of this water fountain a little key click on that and pick it up then you're gonna go over to the right side there is a little uh, old hatchet that is just sitting here on a stump so click on that and grab that as well then go over here to the mansion and in front of the mansion in order to get in you're going to have to go into your little inventory on the bottom left and click on the hatchet in order to get those boards off uh, and then after that, click on the key and then click on the door behind it. And then you'll see you're going to get a little animation here that will show you getting into the, uh, the, the mansion. Okay, so now that you have found yourself inside the mansion, just go up to the stairs. Don't worry about that little doll thing. We'll worry about him later. There is a little puzzle here that you're going to need to solve in order to get out. Uh, we solved one for the item, the Niffler companion as well. Basically, this little red block, you have to get over to the right side of this whole thing. Uh, but see this little block here? I need to move it down, but I can't do that because I got these other blocks in the way. And I can't move that because there's these other blocks in the way. So start moving some blocks around and seeing how you can move these in a way so that they can get out of the way. So you can move the blocks necessary to get this thing to open. Now, you're going to have a completely different puzzle on yours. There's lots of different variations and it's randomly generated. So looking at what I do for my puzzle is not going to be exactly the same as what you do on your puzzle. Uh, basically, you're just going to have to kind of figure it out. I wish I could give you solutions to every single possible puzzle, but I'm, I have no idea how many, but there's a lot of them and they can be a little tricky to get through. So start moving them around. As you can see, I'm moving this one down and I can move, let's see, this one over, uh, but I can't move those other ones on the upper right down unless I can move that one on the bottom right over. So uh, we're going to try to move that thing over here. Okay, and we can do that. We can move this down and then we can move the other one down all the way, but there's still that one that's in the way. So I need to get that one up so I can move the red block. So we're gonna move that over and that over. Okay, cool. And now I should be able to move this up and then we'll be able to move the red block over to the right. So that's basically what you have to do. It's gonna be a little bit different for you. And uh, if you have a wide stance, it's gonna be hard to get in here. So I have to go into first person to go through the doors, but right across the way, as soon as you go through that door, there is another door. And uh, if you look around this room, you can see there's a little key right here that is sitting on this little uh, couch area. So you're gonna wanna pick up that key. Uh, if you click on anything and it doesn't work, just go into a uh, third person view and click on it. Uh, and usually you should be able to click on and pick up whatever you need. So if anything's not really working when you click on it, either go into first person or third person or would be opposite of whatever you are currently and you should be able to do it. Uh, there's a little keypad here, but we don't know the code yet, uh, but there's a little hint thing here. And basically the last part you need to remember is the number missing the magic sum, first the former, then you're done. Okay. Okay, at this point, so you're gonna turn around and go out this door and there is, since you've got that little key, that we just found on the couch, we can get into this door that is down the hall. So make sure you go into your uh, your inventory. You're gonna have to grab that key and then click on the door. If you don't have the key, you're not gonna be able to get in the door. But once you get in here, you're gonna see this little thing on the, on the right here. See this little four by four uh, puzzle? So there's one number that's missing. And as you can see, you count up to 16. The one number that's missing is 13. So 13 is one of the missing numbers in that riddle. And then also the magic sum. If you notice, if you add these numbers 
left to right or up to down, any of those numbers, that sum is going to be 34. So like 1 plus 10 plus 7 plus 16, that's 34. 15 plus 11 plus 6 plus 2, that's 34. 1 plus 15 plus 14 plus 4, that is 34 as well. So your numbers are 13 and 34. So the, the former and the latter, the way it tells you in that little hint, the number, the code that you need for this thing is 1334. So 1334 is your code. You come over here to this little radio thing where you can enter the code. And uh, let's see, I think I have to go into third person here. We're going to click on that as well. Then we're going to enter the code 1334 and then 1334. You entered that and the password will be accepted. And underneath, you've got this little uh, area that opens up. So what you're going to want to do, there is a ring down here in this little area. It's a little bit of a maze, but it's not too much to deal with. Uh, if you get to an area where you see something that is kind of uh, glowing, then you know you're, you're close. The area where the ring is kind of glows. You can watch where I go in this video and hopefully that will help you get to where you want to be. Uh, ignore that little fairy thing that tries to lead you around. I think it's just to distract you. So as you can see, see that green glow over there? So on the other side of that wall, you can tell is where the, uh, the, the ring is going to be. But just watch out. When you grab this ring, there's going to be something that is cursed within this this haunted mansion i think so uh grab this ring you're gonna need that it's gonna give you super power strength and it's gonna help you deal with curses and everything so now you have casted a curse upon the mansion by stealing the ring so of course you're gonna get this really cool cut scene and you're gonna see that in front of the door in the front there is going to be uh, some sort of smoke monster or something. I think they, the, the smoke monster from Lost is getting some work finally. So that is good. I'm proud of him. Glad, glad he's getting his work. So this is your little cutscene. And after this, you've got a little bit of work to do now to break the curse so that you can get out of here. So now you are done down here in this little area. All you have to do is find your way out to find the stairs so you can get back upstairs so you can do the rest of the stuff that you need to do in the map. Uh, sometimes this little light might lead you kind of closer, but it, usually that light is trying to lead you away. So don't don't follow that little light. He's he's mischievous. So just follow where I went. You can see it's shaking a little bit because of the curse that you set free. So good job. Way to go on that one. All right, now you're going to go through this door. And since you've done this thing, you've opened uh, the curse, the little hall at the very end, that door is now open. And you see this green light right here. It stands out and you click on that, you're going to see colors flashed on the wall. I get red, black, black, red, red. Okay, so I didn't see all of those. We're going to have to go click on this again so we can get all the colors one more time. So we're going to click on this thing over here. Okay, let's all right, all right, click on that. So we got red, black, black, red, red, yellow, red. Okay, red, black, black, red, red, yellow, red. Your colors are going to be different, okay? So the colors are going to be different each time you go in here. But when you turn around, you're going to see there's these little books here that are in the bookshelf. And I recommend going to the third person and clicking on them. Sometimes when you're clicking on them from first person, they just it just doesn't seem like they always work every time. So just go and enter the colors of the pattern that you saw on the wall. Uh, if you see, like, sometimes it looks like orange. It might actually be yellow. And sometimes pink looks a little bit like white. Uh, so if you see some colors and it doesn't quite match up, it might be that one of those colors you know looks like one color but it's not quite the one that you think it is but once you enter that code this little door is going to open up and you're going to see back behind there there's a whole trap door and there's this one little box over here you click on that box and then you get yourself a key yay another key so you're done in that room at least for now you're going to have to come back here to find yourself a little little blockskin creature thing but we'll worry about that later uh so you're going to go on to the opposite end here now all the way on the other end is this last door so now you can get in there because you've got the right key to get in that door so click on the key and then click on that door and then you can get into this place oh i didn't load up the key properly so make sure you click on it and then get in there now this is the library you've got the key to the library now there are some books here in the library that you are going to look for that are going to basically basically give you a little bit of a code as you can see that little pink one on the other side has uh it stands out from the other books quite a bit uh and see that blue one as well so there's there's this pink one here uh you can't tell if it's a six or a nine because it's laying sideways i'll tell you right now that is a nine 
I tried the six and that didn't work. I was like, wait, what? Why was it working? I thought, okay, the six could actually be a nine. So the pink stands for six. You see this blue one over here. The blue book is a three on it. So the blue stands for uh, the number three. And there's uh, another one over here. See up at the top, there's a green one. And on that one, you see the number one on the green uh, book. So we know that pink is nine, blue is three. Uh, green is one and then around the other side here you're gonna see one more book and it's a little gray one over there so that gray one and you see the number seven right there so we've got all four of our numbers those are the four numbers that we want and then when you turn around over here by the fireplace you can see up at the top there's this thing it has um, it, it has the, uh, the the pink and then it's got the gray and then it's got the green and the blue so pink Gray, green, blue would also correspond to 9713. So right below this thing, you're going to go and enter a passcode. So when you click on this, you enter another four digit code and your code of course is 9713 that you found through the books and through the little code up above there to indicate. Then there's gonna be a book. This is a spell book. You pick up the spell book and then you've gone and done it. You've let the blocks of kittens free. What are they? I don't know. I think they're just creepy stuffed animals, apparently. I don't know. They're they're pretty cool, actually. I, I kind of want these little, little bloxies as plushies. I think they'd be cool toys. But one of them, you have to find five of them. They're all hiding throughout uh, the map in different areas. You'll see, you'll find the first one here in the library right behind you. This little witch, you can see her. Uh, most of these block skins, they've got part of the curse on them. So click on that one. That is the first one. Now you're done in the library. You can get out of here and go on and find the next Bloxican. I think that's what it is, Bloxicans. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so next one is here in this room. And behind here, you will see that there is one hidden down here behind this little shelf. See that little guy down there? He looks like he's he's got he's got emo problems going on. I think he's kind of an emo little toy. Still cool though. I still want all these little toys. I think they're all really cool toys. So now we're going to leave this room once again and go over to uh, that one room that we went to the last time we left this room, uh, where we found that big board that had the four x four. Except now, uh, around on the other side of the board, you're gonna find the headless horseman blocks again. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that one. So click on that little guy and we've got three out of four of them now. So we're done in this room now. Let's get out of here and turn around and go through this door. And remember this little hidden area back here? There is now another little block skin hiding right here on the ground next to the skeleton. Oh, look, they're buddies. I like it, they're buddies. They get along so well. So that is four out of five of the block skins. The last one is hidden up here. You go to the top, go out this door again. And this, this statue of here, it's too, too heavy for you to move it by yourself. But if you use the magic power of the ring, you should be able to move it. So you go and you click on the ring and then you click on that little thing and then have him move over and then click on the door and you can go back there and go inside the door and you will find the final Blockskin doll right there. He is a cool looking one. He's got the wings and he's got the horns and I don't think there's really anything else you have to deal with in here. It looks like a baby got cursed there but I, I don't really want to go into that so much well that there's a baby carriage there that has little smoke stuff never mind okay so we're gonna go here to this front of the the uh, the area and we're gonna lay down all five of these little block skins because I guess they need to make a sacrifice or something to save this other block skin I don't know uh, make sure you've got your ring on right now too and your ring is equipped you still got that on so now that you put those five things down there click on this little guy and then you're going to set the curse free and now you can leave the mansion and make sure you deselect that ring so you're not selecting it anymore because if you click on this door here while well, it's still selected it won't work but now there you go this might look a little bit different to you because because uh, the animation isn't there yet but uh, you escaped Twilight Manor and then you'll get a congratulations message that lets you know that you won something and it's in your inventory all right then go and check your inventory and you'll have the imagination the imaginary companion so that's pretty cool i uh, hope this has helped you guys make sure if you haven't done that yet subscribe and smack that notification button on the way out so you guys are notified about future event videos and also future live streams thanks guys and we'll see you later